Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is a very short video. I just want to show you guys how I kind of preserve my curls after a workout. So, get in, First off, welcome. My old time subby is a congregation rain gang. Happy curl gang. Welcome back for another video. This is gonna be a short video. The lies, the lies. Lord willing, you know, I could talk. So, are you subscribed yet? I'm just asking questions. This is what I do. If you don't know, on Instagram, I've stated that I am starting this whole weight loss journey. Um, this is actually like the biggest I've ever been in my entire life. Like, it's just, it's a lot. I've always had hips and butt and thighs and boobs, you know, but I've always had like an hourglass figure. As I've gotten older and I've had a child and all that stuff, you know, my metabolism isn't really the same like it used to be. I'm on this new, you know, healthy living and so on. So I, if you follow me on Instagram, you already noticed this, but you know, oh, you know, your girl got goals, you know what I'm saying? I get back to when I thought I was fat because back then I thought I was fat and I really wasn't. Ah. So I'm trying to get back to that type of fat. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so clearly I have showered a mom left my hair. Usually how it's gonna end up looking after I have left the gym. Typically, I will use one of these that comes like this. This is dirty, cause you know, I've worn it. Um, and I have gel and sweat and all that stuff. So, I mean, this video gonna be real, okay? I just simply cut mine. And I wear it as a band around my hair like this. And it just kind of keeps like, my edges kind of laid, if that's what I'm going for. It keeps like the sweat from dripping because I have product in my hair, all that stuff. Okay. I always put my hair up into a pineapple um, or at least a high ponytail and I use one of my favorite scrunchies, which you guys can find in like any uh, beauty supply place. Um, I like the ones that are like the cloth like material. What I do, y'all, I let my hair fully dry. Like, you know, if my hair has, you know, obviously I have sweat. Um, I let my hair kind of fully dry before I take it down. I notice that kind of saves my roots a little bit. Now it doesn't look too bad. Well, well. <laughs> yes, it does. I mean, just gonna keep it real. <laughs> Show y'all really quick. I just go ahead and split my hair in half. I'm gonna go ahead and take some dry shampoo. I just received this from my Sally Beauty Box from one of these months. Um, so no particular dry shampoo at Eva NYC. I like this because of the smell and it also kind of just does freshen up your, um, your hair, but at the same time, it kind of revamps your curls in a sense. This is, listen. Some of these can turn your hair white, so you wanna be careful. This doesn't, this is why I like this particular brand. So I'm doing a lot of tugging at my roots um, that I don't have to use a blow dryer, but I probably will. So dry shampoo really does work for me in trying to get this area. If it's itching a little bit, it will kind of help. So yeah, I really like using dry, dry shampoo when I'm trying to kind of salvage my wash and go. I'll go ahead and take another scrunchie. What this is gonna do is just kind of getting your hair to kind of lay back now without trying to manipulate it so much. and. definitely use this for more volume. I'm probably just gonna put my hair over to the side. Now, real quick, if you saw my last video on my tips on my wash and go, um, when I say you get your roots, I can wear a center part or I can just flip it to the side with no problem. You know what I mean? You can flip it to the other side with no problem. Obviously I'm not done. But you see what I'm saying? Like you have a lot of movement to your roots so that you can play around and kind of switch up your hair slightly. Okay, so now this is where I'm gonna break out my blow dryer. Now for those of you guys who do not wanna use heat, another thing that you can do is make sure that you get a scrunchie, put it to whatever you know part you want. So if you want your part this way or if you want your part this way, um, let's see, I'll do mine this way. You take all of your hair 
and you simply put it back into a ponytail one time. And this kind of just helps to get your hair back to it laying back, you know, to the original <laughs> flatness of going downward instead of going upward. This video is going on 10 minutes, sis. Let's look down and see. Uh-huh. Going on 10 minutes. I just listen. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I'll see y'all in my next one. I love y'all so very much. 